What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I'm going to point out things from the Destiny E3 footage of the Taken King trailer that you may have missed but before we get into the video if you guys are new to my channel and do enjoy that daily destiny content be sure to subscribe and if you could help this video out with a like at the end if you enjoy it i would appreciate the support okay getting straight into the video and two seconds in i believe we see the dreadnought this is the ship of oryx interestingly this ship orbits the rings of saturn though it has not been confirmed if saturn will be available for us to explore it will be amazing for us to get a new planet now moving on to 30 seconds into the trailer i believe we see the first of a new area on what could be a new planet color of the planet to me does look like the moon but if you look closely you can see what looks to be a cabal so could this be mars could it be the moon or could it be a new mission the enemies on it don't look like the taken though so where this place is i have no idea when i first saw it in the trailer i did think it was the archer's line on the moon but on closer inspection i believe it definitely is not now moving on to 43 seconds into the trailer here we see an enemy being taken and what being turned into a taken enemy which is basically being controlled by oryx and his crazy ass witchcraft now it was pretty obvious that these enemies were taken as it's called the taken and the taken king and it's pretty cool to see how it actually happens now at 46 seconds into the trailer we get our first glimpse at oryx now as soon as i saw him i thought straight up of black doom from sonic now following our first glimpse of Oryx, we see some Taken enemies. These enemies to me stand out way too much to be the standard kind. Could these enemies be raid bosses? I mean we see a fucked up looking Cabal with an even fucked up looking weapon. He seems to be appearing from a portal. Then we see what looks to be a giant hive knight with a fuck off axe. He again seems to be appearing as if he is a boss of some sort. So could these new enemies what look to me to be like bosses, could they be part of the new raid that comes with the Taken King? Could they be bosses of a strike? Could they be bosses of a mission? We're just going to have to wait and see. We then see a red cabal with green markings. This dude looks insane. He comes with what looks to be an advanced jetpack the cabal don't normally use. Meaning this dude gets aerial when attacking, making the fight a little more interesting. I also noticed as well that he is sort of in the way of us guardians crossing a platform to a giant door. I do believe this takes place on the dreadnought ship as the surroundings do represent that hive. Now at 55 seconds we see a new space. I do believe this to be Saturn. Maybe this is where you board the dreadnought. Wherever it is, it's definitely new. Now at 1 minute 1 second we see a ship sort of like coming into landing at a social space. Could this be a new social space that comes with the Taken King? Its layout does look a little like the tower. Also in the background we can see like a black hole, maybe this is a portal. Could this be the area used to enter the Dreadnought ship? Whatever it is it's definitely an interesting snippet from the trailer. Okay at 1 minute 7 seconds we see the first of the new subclasses. Now this I won't cover because I already have in a previous video and I guarantee you none of you guys missed this. Now 1 minute 10 seconds we see a hunter and his new subclass taking on a new enemy which looks to be like a giant shank. Crazy. Moving on at 1 minute 16 seconds. Now I could be jumping to conclusions here but we definitely see this titan activating his super on what looks to be Mercury. That background is the exact to what we see with the lighthouse. The scene after shows a titan and his sunbreaker fighting enemies. Could this be on Mercury? Meaning Mercury will be a new planet for us to explore with the Taken King? Or could it just be Bungie trying to make the titan special look as epic as possible by using this Mercury's blazing sun scenery? We're just going to have to wait and see. Now at 1 minute 26 we see this amazing wolf looking harm for the hunter. In actual fact this could be indeed a class item. Either way rocking a wolf's head is something I definitely want to do. Now at 1 minute 32 we see what I believe to be a new exotic weapon. It's being welded by a hunter and it looks to be a shotgun. The way this thing gets equipped is epic enough. It reminds me of the models from Modern Warfare 2. Now at 1 minute 34, we're going to take a look at more of the taken enemies. Here it seems as though the enemies can split into multiple enemies. Maybe when they take a set amount of damage, they split. Who knows? Now something else I want to add. 
which I took from another video where the bungee team were being interviewed. It shows a taken enemy using what looks to be like a titan bubble. That is absolutely crazy. And what enemy is this? It does look like a vandal as it does look like it's welding a wire rifle. But how the hell does a vandal get a titan bubble? That just doesn't make sense to me but it's still epic. There will be a lot of surprises that come with this DLC, I can guarantee it. And although, or what I've stated in this video, none of it has been confirmed factual, it's just what I think and my opinion. But guys, that is it, that's what I have seen, what I haven't covered already, and is interesting enough for me to add to this video. Hope you guys learned something. If you didn't, I apologize. If you guys have any information that I may have missed in this trailer that stands out to you, that is really interesting. Please state it down below in that comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could drop a like, I would appreciate the support. Like I said, if you're new to my channel and do enjoy that daily destiny, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter at DPJSC08. Thanks for stopping by as always and peace out until next time. Peace.